But Senator, to be fair, not every person in Australia would agree with all of these things. You know, there is evidence that there is child marriage in some communities. There is evidence of female genital mutilation in some communities. It is often associated with the Islamic community, but we know that there are other migrant groups um, who, who, who also practice this. Uh, so it is the case that these are, um, these are practices that some people do import to Australia. Um, do you, are you concerned that perhaps this does look like it is targeting the Islamic community? Um, well, look, I think that there's no doubt that what the, what the Prime Minister is trying to do is to, is to pick victims within our community to pick on, again, to distract from problems um, of his own government's making. Again, what I said was that any reasonable person in Australia would agree that we shouldn't have domestic violence, um, that we shouldn't have female genital mutilation, that we shouldn't have a range of other practices. But I'm not sure that those problems are as uh, widespread as what we're being held uh, to believe. Um, you know, there are many members of the Muslim community in Australia who reject these practices themselves. Um, so I think that there's a bit of a straw man being held up by the government and that they are trying to create a much bigger problem than what actually exists in the community to distract attention from the really serious problems this country has that they're not willing to solve. Things like people not being paid fairly, uh, millionaires and corporate tax uh, companies not paying their fair share of tax, wages not increasing. They are the real kind of problems that, that, that the whole community in Australia faces. Uh, and I think that this, this stuff that we're seeing from the government at the moment is just a distraction. Mm. Would it be fair to say this is a, a way to continue a culture war? Uh, uh, which we're pretty good at in Australia. Yeah, I, I think that probably is a fair comment. And I, I think, as I say, I, I would have thought that most Australians want to see their government uh, focusing on um, the problems that affect them day in, day out. And I don't think that the, the sort of problems that are being held up by the government um, really rate compared to things that most mm -hmm. people actually experience in their daily lives.